All right, hello today. Uh, this is Adam from Nation Starter and Alternator, and I'm going to do a video on how to do some programming or reprogramming on the Balmar MC614 Max Charge Multi Step Voltage Regulator. So you can see right now the uh, regulator is scrolling through its parameters. For the regulator to be turned on, you need a ground connection, you need a power with a 12 volt connection there and you need the ignition to be excited. The number nine pin over on this side is the sense terminal. If that was to be unplugged, it would register zero on the uh, BV setting. So as this is scrolling through, just to go over some basic things, it's identifying itself as a 614. It has the LFP profile. Uh, that's for the belt load manager, it's not activated at this time. That's the BV or battery voltage setting 12.5. The CV which is the target voltage right now is shown 14.0. So we're going to go in and change this. You can do it with the vehicle on or off. It doesn't matter as long as the regulator is powered on. So in order to go into programming mode you need your magne magnetic screwdriver. We're going to hold this over the read switch and it says programming battery type LFP for lithium iron phosphate and we're gonna let this scroll through it's gonna say belt for belt load manager display type which it's in SD for short display <clears throat> BDL then after that this is where we go into advanced programming. So when you see the three lines, you're going to hold your magnet over the read switch until it goes to AP5. And then it'll say PRA. It's going to indicate that you're going into advanced programming mode. There's that. And going to go over some basic AHL. You can see where this one is at 15.2 and we want to bring that down to 14.8. On any of these settings, if you want to know what they are, all you have to do then is just tap it, the magnet over BV we're wanting to adjust this to 14.3 absorption voltage 13.9 if you wanted it to go up or down you just hold that on if you wanted it to go the other way, you let off and then back on. So we're going to put absorption voltage at 13.9. Then for float voltage, I'm going to put that at, I want to go back down, I'm going to put that at 13.6. You can go through the operations manual for the Balmar and it can give you the uh, the meaning for all of these abbreviations. FFL, AL1, you can see this, we set ours at 120. And go up, and go back down. That's a, a comfortable temp temperature for ours. Um, typical of most alternators, they will only, uh, you know, set it at 90 Celsius possibly a hundred Celsius. Um, ours we do 120, it's about 248 Fahrenheit. It's a very high temperature, I mean very hot, but the uh, XP series alternators are definitely made to uh, take those type of temperatures and work very hard. So what's gonna happen now is it's going to repeat the cycle. So it's going back in, showing now we're in PRA. It goes through all the settings. If you wanted to check anything, 
the AH AHL is the upper current limit. Some of the uh, the programming did have these regulators set uh, at 15.2 on that setting, and we do definitely want that at 14.8 uh, to prevent any voltage overrun. And if you happen to miss anything in programming, um, you know, one reason that they, they have that, this to repeat the cycle, if you miss anything, uh, you don't have to worry, it'll all come back around. And this should be the last time. So it'll go through this uh, three times and then it will save the settings. Uh, once the settings are saved, uh, you can power it down and uh, you know that will will be uh, locked in. It'll be locked in and ready to go and it will not change until you go back in and change it uh, again if you wanted to adjust anything for any reason. This is the process to go through, go into the advanced programming, turn any of the settings up or down and you know it's fully changeable. You can dial anything in, you know, where you want it. Uh depending on the driver's usage, depending on the the operator, you know, how much battery recharging you're doing, how long your trips might be. If there's anything that you want to adjust to to suit the batteries better, you can always come back in and make any adjustments. And we should be coming up now, it should say SAV. There it goes. These settings are now locked in. After this, if the vehicle was running, uh, then this would go ahead and put the alternator into operation. These gradually ramp up, so it's showing BV setting. Through the sense wire, it's showing 12.5. Right now, it's at 13.4. Again, this is a gradual ramp up. Uh, these don't just automatically throw a, you know, a hard load onto the belt system. This is the filled wire, the blue wire. If you're ever doing any troubleshooting, you can take a voltmeter, place your ground here. You can check your voltage at your power, check your voltage at your ignition. You can check this wire, the sense wire, make sure it's getting an accurate reading. Battery voltage, 12.5. Obviously, this is not hooked up to anything. Target voltage now, 14.3. So that's showing that the um, settings that we adjusted are locked in. Everything will be operating the way it needs to be. And uh, that's all you have to do for the programming of the max charge regulator in conjunction with the nation's XP alternators. Um, can be used on dual kits or primary charging, you know, for basically about any application. So I thank you for educating yourself on this and for watching this video. As always, if there's ever any tech trouble, tech technical assistance that you need, you can call Nation Starter and Alternator toll free 888 334 2632 or 573 334 2632.